Hello everybody, this is Rocky. In this video, I'm going to address an important issue faced by many of us PHP developers when we have installed the WAMP server or any other server that you might be using to develop PHP websites on your local host. So here we're looking at uh, the PHP my admin uh, on localhost. So what essentially I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to access PHP my admin on my local host on my local PC so that I can look at all the databases in it. But as you can see on the screen it says forbidden you don't have permission to access PHP my admin on the server. So what this essentially means is uh, it's treating or rejecting the server is rejecting our access to the database. So there's a very simple fix and you could do it on your end in about a few seconds. So how do you do this is the solution for this uh, issue and that's what exactly I'm going to show you in this video. In order to um, fix this issue, just navigate to the folder in which you have in installed your server. So I have installed WAMP server in one of my drives on my PC. So I'm going to navigate to that folder. Okay. Here is the drive and here is my WAMP server and I'm going to double click it. And as you can see, there are lots of folders and files and the one that I'm interested in is the alias. So double click on the alias folder and there are three files. Which these are primarily the configuration files that PHP uses uh, to maintain the server and you know uh, do the, all the processing. So what you need to do is edit the PHP myadmin.config file. So how you're gonna do this is uh, probably if you have never edited one of these files then you would not be able to edit it in just like um, without the aid of any other notepad or any other text editing tool you won't be able to edit it so what you're going to be doing is right click on it and you say edit because I've already opened this file uh, ahead I'm able to open it in notepad but if you're not able to do it just simply right click on the file click on edit and then select a notepad from the list of installed programs. Once you do that, you'll be able to edit this file in notepad. So once you are done, scroll out to the bottom of the file and look at the last but one line. This says, this line says, hello from 127.0.0.1. So this is your local host IP address. So what you need to do is change this to all that's it so once you're done click on file and save but if but the most important thing that you need to remember at this point of time is once you have edited and saved the file it's not gonna work if I click on refresh right now it still is going to show me the forbidden um, message so did we do something wrong well no that exactly is the solution but what could be wrong well, because this is one of the configuration files, the server has to accept the changes. So in order for that to take place and for the new settings to be effective, we would need to restart the server. So what I'm going to do is close out the file. I'm going to launch my RAM server and I'm going to put the server offline. All right. And I'm going to restart all my server, all the services. Okay. All right. So, either ways, you could you could just say restart all services and it would do the same thing. You don't have to put it offline and then do it. So, but that's just for demonstration purposes that I'm uh, doing right now. So you can just say restart all services and, and that will take care of it. So now that we have restarted our server, let's take a look at how it's going to work. I'm going to refresh it. And there you have it. So this is how you can fix the no uh, permission or no access error. And you can solve it just by editing the PHP myadmin dot configuration file and just change the last but one line uh, to all. I hope this helps many of you and please feel free to share your comments below. Thanks.